and welcome back to the civil rights lawyer channel this is yet another video about police arriving at a trespassing complaint at a business this time it's mcdonald's where there is an argument over a cheeseburger take a look they want you trespass they don't who listen, cares just listen i know it doesn't mean anything. it's a mcdonald's they don't they want you there's one right. on every corner customers are right thank you okay the easiest thing to do is just give us your info a trust, we give you a piece of paper and you don't come I back. Don't, no, then you're free you told to leave. Me I'm trespass, so I'm not coming back. So we have to serve That's you with a criminal will. trespass notice. No, you don't. Yes, by law no, we do. No, you just want okay, to then we're going to call. You. Then we're going to arrest you. No, you're you. not. To identify. No, you're then not. Then identify yourself. No. Yes. For what? Over I, a sandwich? At some point, don't you just have to ask yourself, like, do I really need this lady's ID? Do I need this woman's ID? There was an argument at McDonald's over a cheeseburger, the lady's leaving. You know, I really get tired of seeing these situations. It's happening constantly across the country where police are arriving or arriving at a business who had called them in reference to a trespassing complaint. Now, instead of just making sure that the person leaves, they are going to forcibly detain and ID this person. And this is just a terrible idea as a police officer. And it's a terrible thing for our constitutional rights. Because nine times out of ten, this is not supported under the state law wherever this is happening. Because if you are going to forcibly stop somebody, say you're not leaving now, even though you've been asked to leave, you're going to give me your ID whether you like it or not, that is a Fourth Amendment seizure. And it has to be supported by reasonable suspicion. Therefore, the person has to have, uh, be suspected of committing some state crime, which generally is going to be trespassing. And usually the state statutes require that the person is refusing to leave. It's completely backwards and it's more of a police officer following, following their own internal policies than it is supported by law. But let's just do this again. Take a look at what happened here in Ohio at this McDonald's. Hi, did you have a bad day inside? No, sir. I went through the drive through earlier. Okay. She refused to take my dollar to give me 30 cents. After. Okay. So she gave me a refund. I'm leaving. She started screaming at me, telling me to have a good day and not to come back here. And I said, I won't. So you didn't, you, you didn't say anything. You were a complete angel. I know, I'm getting I information. You're getting disorderly. I sure store. did. Okay. So this could be an important fact here. Notice that the officer said the word disorderly, that there was an allegation that you were disorderly inside. And it sounds like she admitted to that. Remember that if there's no reasonable suspicion for what's about to happen, this detainment based on the state trespassing law, there could be, because it's an objective standard, if there's reasonable suspicion that any other crime had been committed, that could theoretically justify a detention of this lady. All right. I did. So here's what's gonna happen. You've been made whole, right? You got your I'm money leaving. back. You pulled up. I didn't yep. want you to have to so, chase me. So down here's the what we're gonna do. They want you trespass. They don't. Who let's cares? Just, just listen. I know it doesn't mean anything. It's a McDonald's. They don't they want can't you. Even There's do one it right. on every corner. Customers are right. Thank you. Okay. I won't come back. Does this car come back to you? No, it does not. Okay. Can I get a driver's license number or something from you? Or name, no, date of birth? I don't have one. Well, I'm going to issue a trespass notice, and I have to fill out a piece of paper. I okay? can care less. Okay. What you're I just do. need some information. No. Another possible issue here that might make a difference here, as opposed to the usual scenario where this happens, she technically was in her car and pulling out at the time that the officers pulled up. One could make an argument that this was really a traffic stop. Now, it doesn't appear to be handled in that way. It doesn't appear that there's any traffic allegation um, or anything like that. But it's something that defense attorneys, if there was a civil lawsuit over this, they could argue because, remember, it's an objective standard. It doesn't matter what this officer subjectively believed he was doing or said he was doing. It's what any reasonable theoretical officer um, would have known under those circumstances and would have been justified in doing. When he asked for her license, she was just in her car. And there was also an allegation, um, according to the news report, that he smelled alcohol on her breath. Now, maybe that's a lie, maybe not. But those are all other potential justifications that could theoretically support uh, an investigative detention where he could forcibly ID this lady. 
But she I do. She gave a description. You can use that, but I no, no, no. sir. So I'm filling out a paper. Oh, go ahead. Okay. Fill it out. It's going to have your information on it so that you can't come back on the property. Who wants to? It's a McDonald's. I understand like you that. Said, there's one but on I have corner. to serve you I'm a good not, piece of no, paper. No, I'm not about to give you my info. Sorry. You are because it's a crime here. if you don't. No, it's not. Because you're trespassing. The crime is her being nasty and won't make my sandwich the way I paid for it. It's my money. Now, this is the usual scenario that we're talking about. This police officer says that he has some obligation to fill out a report or some sort of trespass notice on behalf of the business here on behalf of McDonald's. Now, from what I've heard, I'm not an Ohio lawyer, but from what I've heard so far from others, there is no such law apparently in Ohio, as there usually is not in any state, that obligates a police officer to serve, physically serve some sort of trespass notice on this lady under these circumstances. So if she's asked to leave McDonald's and she leaves McDonald's, she wants to leave McDonald's, the officer cannot forcibly hold her there and get her ID so he can fill out some paperwork on behalf of McDonald's. Okay, that is not the law anywhere that, that, that I've heard of. Now, if she had been asked to leave or trespassed and she comes back, now, well, maybe there's probable cause to even perform a warrantless arrest for violating the state trespass statute. But I don't believe the Ohio trespass statute says that it's a crime for her to be told to leave by McDonald's and then attempt to leave and then not be allowed to leave by the officer. So that's the usual scenario that we have. What I think is going on here in all these police departments is these officers are just told by their supervisors or their chief of police, or maybe it's in their policies and procedures manual, that when there's a trespass notice, fill out some sort of report, get the person's information. But that forgets the Constitution. Well, what about if the person doesn't agree to that? Because the Fourth Amendment only allows them to forcibly stop and detain somebody against their will if there's valid reasonable suspicion that a crime's been committed. And if the only allegation of a crime is trespass, and the state trespass statute requires that the person refuse to leave, and they're attempting to leave, and, and, and that's the information known to the officer, well, then there can't be reasonable suspicion. Therefore, they even either have to voluntarily stop and provide their information, or there has to be reasonable suspicion developed of some other crime, which in this instance could be something pertaining to, to driving or some sort of disorderly that occurred in the McDonald's. Okay. That's nasty. You're going to make it more difficult than it has to be. If you arrest me, I promise you, you're going to have a problem. I, I won't have a problem. Yes, you will. No. Nope. Like, no. I won't have a problem. Not over a We're sandwich. Not over a sandwich. I, I, all I want to do is give you a piece of paper. You have For to identify what? yourself. It's so many McDonald's out here. What? We're okay. Now you're getting disorderly. Take it up to another level. Take it up to another level. Stop. I'm fine. I just want to fill out a piece of paper. For what? A Over trespass a notice. Over a sandwich that she Criminal, refused to make. Are you going to stop and listen? Who's going to go in there and make her remake if my sandwich? If you don't stop. Nobody. If you don't stop, you're going to end up fine. going to jail. Stop. Hancock, H-A-N-C-O-C-K, write it down so Calm I can Calm down. Go. No, because you're not about to act like no, that over a stop. sandwich she didn't make right. Stop. You don't need to go to jail over this. Exactly. Okay, so That's calm what I'm down. Saying. Like, okay, making, sandwich? You're making us your enemy. I'm ready. I gave we, you my info. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. I Calm said my last name, down. Hancock. Over a fucking burger that she Miss, didn't even make right. Miss, that I traveled way far. Are you for. going to listen to me? Miss Hancock, what's your first name? The easiest thing to do is just give us your for info. What? We Over you a trust. We give you a piece of paper and you don't come I back. Don't, no, then you're free you told to leave. me I'm trespassed, so I'm not coming back. So we have to serve That's you with a criminal will. trespass notice. No, you don't. Yes, by law no, we do. No, you just want okay, to because then we're she called. Then we're going to arrest you. No, you're you. not. To identify. No, you're then not. Then identify yourself. No. Yes. For what? Over I, a sandwich? Stop. She didn't identify, identify herself. Identify yourself or we'll have to arrest you. Now stop. Over a f***ing sandwich. Yes, over a sandwich. So you're making a bad decision. You're missing every day though. But you coming for me over a burger? Y'all, yeah, it's too much. You're not leaving until you identify yourself. Right, if you don't get the... You better calm down. I'm not giving you nothing. I already said it. Okay, you're under arrest. No, I'm not. Your back. Put no, your I'm hands not. behind your back. No, I'm not. You are under arrest for failure to identify. And you can see what's going to happen now. There ends up being a violent use of physical force by police officers against this lady. Yes, over a cheeseburger. And it begs the question, well, what could have been done differently here? Yes, this lady was misbehaving no doubt she could have handled this differently and gone on her way she was antagonizing them she was basically begging for for problems 
But this is not a situation where we can just say, yeah, well, well, this is where a-holes collide. You have to protect the constitutional rights of even people who misbehave, who feel entitled, who want to cause all this drama over a cheeseburger. And it's not an equal bargaining position like when a-holes collide. Because one side of that is the government. The government has to respect the constitutional rights of all citizens, whether they're likable people or not. We heard him say that you are not free to leave. If you give me your information, then you'll be free to leave. Therefore, there has been a seizure under the Fourth Amendment. Okay, that has to be supported. It either is or is not. So this, even this, though this lady's misbehaving, there has to be constitutional justification for what's about to happen. And then from the police officer's point of view, I mean, at some point... At some point, don't you just have to ask yourself, like, do I really need this lady's ID? Do I need this woman's ID? There was an argument at McDonald's over a cheeseburger. The lady's leaving. Do I need this ID that bad? Or do I just send her on her way and go have a donut or have a coffee? Don't you have something better to do? That's what I would ask myself if I were a police officer. Do I really want to deal with this? Do I need this ID? And very little thought, I think, went into, well, is there constitutional justification for that? If a business wants to trespass somebody, let them do it. So law enforcement, please stop doing this. Stop doing this. Even if a person acts like this, do you really need that ID? Do you have justification to get that ID? Why not just let the person go? Avoid the drama. Clearly, this was a bad decision by the police officer here. Look at the news report, which I'll link in the description. The officer is on unpaid leave or suspended or something like that. There are really bad optics in the media, bad optics in the community. This was completely unnecessary. It was over nothing. But at the end of the day, this is a common sense thing because it's an interaction that doesn't even really need to happen. So as always, thanks for watching. If you like looking at these sort of interactions and discussing the interesting constitutional issues and the interesting common sense issues in these sorts of interactions between people and their government, please subscribe, comment if you disagree with me, and if you you think I've missed something. Thanks for watching. Remember, freedom is scary. Deal with it. I'll see you next time.